Hi all, we'll be doing division and finding the proportional relationship. And the idea here is that the y variable changes proportionately with the x. So as x gets bigger, y gets bigger. But how much bigger? Okay, so when x goes up by 1, y goes up by 15. When x goes up by another 1, y goes up by another 15. So every time x goes up 1, y goes up 15. Another way to get 15 is to do 15 divided by 1, or 30 divided by 2, or 45 divided by 3. All these things are 15. So in the different examples, I'll choose different numbers just to change it up, but you can use any of them, and you can see the answer right away. So it's not just about getting the answer, but seeing the, the common properties. So in this case, the answer is 15. Okay, over here, let's, let's be silly and use 54 and 3. Let's do 54 divided by 3. So what's that? Well, you have to think about it a little bit. 20 is too big because, well, 20 divided by 3 is, sorry, yeah, 20, 20 is too big, right? Because 20 times 3 is 60, right? So we have to go down a little bit and you'll get 18. But also you could see that it's 18, right? Because 18 divided by one is 18, right? So if the goal is to just answer these questions, it's just gonna be the thing next to the, the one every time, right? But the goal is to understand proportional relationships, right? So this is gonna be 18x, y equals 18x. Okay, let's be lazy on this. We know the answer is 11, right? Because 11 divided by 1 equals 11, 22 divided by 2 equals 11, 33 divided by 3 equals 11, so it's always 11. And here again, what we're realizing here is that, you know, 13 divided by 1 is 13, right? What are we saying? We're, we're actually saying that y divided by x is always 13, no matter what y is and what x is. So if y is 26 divided by 2, we get 13. Hey, but if we multiply both sides by x, that's exactly y equals 13x, right? That's where this equation comes from. y equals 13 times x. Okay. So here we have, let's do this one, two divided by two. Two divided by two is one. But again, we could see that the answer is one. Another thing is, you can also see how much this increases every time, right? If this increases by one, then this increases by 19. So that's another way of seeing that it's y equals 19 times x. So also you could do 19 divided by one is equal to 19. So y equals 19 times x. Thank you. Okay, over here. I mean, one way they could trick us is if they didn't give us this line, right? And then you'd get sort of like, hung up on just maybe you found a shortcut, you just say eight, right? But then you'd realize, oh, wait a minute, I have to do eight divided by two, which equals four, right? And so you'd have y equals four x. All right, how about this? Well, we have 14 divided by one equals 14. 28 divided by 2 equals 14. So we're going to have y equals 14x. If we look at 11 divided by 1, 22 divided by 1, by 2, 33 divided by 3, it goes up by 11 each time. These are all 11. So we get y equals 11x. And the last one here will be y equals 
seven X, you can see that, right? But let's do seven divided by one equals seven, 14 divided by two equals seven. So it's just y equals 7x. Okay, let's go on, see if there's anything interesting here. Okay, it's the same lesson, so you get the idea. This will be y equals 14x. Um, yeah, now you might wonder where does this apply in real life? Well, there's so many things that have these proportional relationship. So like pounds to kilograms is a proportion. It's a more complicated proportion, but it's a proportion. Um, or miles to kilometers, that's a proportion. As the number of kilometers goes up, the number of miles goes up. Um, so these things happen all around you. When you look at these examples, they're sort of overly simple because the proportionality constant is always a really nice number, but in real life, it's not a really nice number. But it, this still gives you the idea. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you for the next lesson.